So this Bengali story is called the massage oil. Because once there was a young couple, and even if you couldn't understand their language, even if you couldn't hear what they were saying, by the way that they were stroking each other's cheeks and whispering sweet nothings into each other's ears, you knew they were madly in love. And the reason why they were madly in love is because they'd been married for seven days. And it was what we call a love marriage, the total opposite to an arranged marriage, like we have here, where people meet each other and fall in love. But after seven days of bliss, well, that young girl had to go and see her mother-in-law for the first time. And some of you may know that's a terrifying experience. And when they got to the house, the old woman opened the door. She looked the girl up and down. She looked her up and down again, and she just beckoned them in without saying a single word. Maybe it was because she wasn't involved with the arranging of the marriage. Maybe she didn't just like the look of the girl. That happens sometimes. But there was a distinct iciness in the house. Now, normally, as you may know, the tradition is the mendi, the henna that's on your hands. The bride's not supposed to do any housework until that mendi fades. But not in this house, because the mother-in-law set her to work straight away, and she was there scrubbing and cleaning and cooking and scrubbing and cleaning and cooking. And every time she was doing her chores, she had that distinct feeling. You know that feeling you get when you feel somebody's watching you? And she turned, and she just see a little flash of something, and she thought, I must be imagining it. I'm in new surroundings, unfamiliar surroundings. She thought nothing of it. Well, several weeks passed, and by this time, the mendi had completely faded from her hands. And one day, she was scrubbing her husband's shirts when she had that feeling again of being watched. And she looked, and there was the old woman peering into the bucket. Ah, cha, cha. So you wash the collars first, do you? And the only thing is, in this house, we tend to wash the cuffs first and the collars second. Ah, oh, Sasaji, Sasaji, I can learn, I can learn, I can learn the other way. Well, if that's how your mother taught you, I suppose that's how your mother taught you. And off she huffed. And the girl, she was continuously being watched, and the more she was being watched, the more mistakes she was making. And one day, well, one day she was there with a the child who was sweeping the yard, and the old woman said, you stupid girl, how many times have I told you the angle of the broomstick has to be the same as the angle of the branch on that people tree? And she was, but Sasoji keeps on moving in the wind. That's not my fault, you stupid girl. Didn't your mother teach you anything? And so it continued this barrage day after day, and you know what, we all have a breaking point. And that came one afternoon when the girl was there making the dal, the lentil curry. And she says, you wretch, you wretch, how many times must I tell you? We don't stir the curry clockwise, we stir it anti-clockwise. I'm sorry, Sasaji, stupid girl, what kind of mother must you have had? And off she huffed. Well, that very afternoon, the young bride took a shawl and threw it over her shoulder and made her way into the woods to see the wise old woman. And unlike many wise people in stories, this woman really was wise. And she told her a story, she told her a tale of woe, and the old woman listened without saying a single thing. And at the end of it, she took a bottle of oil, and she said, you see this? This is a magic oil. This is a massage oil. Massage this oil into the old woman's body. Massage it into her bones, and when the oil is gone, your problem will be gone. And she gave the old woman 10 rupees, and she ran back as quick as her legs could carry her. Sasoji, Sasoji, malas jediya. Now, who doesn't like a massage? And before she could say anything, the kameez were over, was over her head like this. Now, normally, as the tradition is, you're supposed to at least warm the oil out of courtesy. Everybody knows that. You're taught that when you're a child. But all those months of, are you stupid? What kind of mother must you have had? Came out in that massage, because she took that oil and... Ah! She slapped it on the old woman's back and she started pummeling and twisting and pummeling and twisting and pummeling and twisting. The old woman's back was cracking and cracking. And after about 10 minutes, well, my goodness me, her skin was as red as my, as my top hair. Oh, and she stopped massaging and she looked as the oil had gone down a bit, her eyes sparkled. Same again tomorrow, Sasuji. Yes, maybe a bit higher and a bit softer, a bit gentler. The next day she was there again, getting all that frustration out, all that anger, even got her elbows involved. Ta, 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 call my mother stupid, will you? Ta, ta, ta. And her eyes sparkled once more as the oil went down further. And this happened every day. But you know what? That level of anger, that level of rage, it's exhausting. It's tiring. And soon the young bride found her wrist aching, her neck tight, and her shoulders knotted up. And one day, through no will of her own, <sighs> Those movements softened, and the tips of her fingers found the small of the old woman's back, and the natural curve of her hands found the natural curve of the old woman's shoulders. And then her thumbs started rotating and rolling over the shoulder blades. And you know what? As those movements softened, naturally, the atmosphere softened. And an unexpected thing happened. The two women started talking, and the old woman said, you know what? I'm in such a mood all the time because I'm in pain all the time. But I do love my son. And the young bride said, Sasuji, what about me? I'm so far away from my mothers and my fathers and my brothers and my sisters. But I too love your son. 
And from that day onwards, well, she would massage the old woman and they would share stories. And the old woman would tell her about her dreams, her aspirations when she was a young bride with men that applied to her hands. And the time went quickly, as it does when you tell stories. And one day she came to massage her and she looked on in horror as there was only two, two drops of that oil left. Sasoji, please don't leave the house. Don't leave the house. Don't cross the threshold. I'll be back in a moment. And then she threw the shawl over her shoulders and she ran down to the wise old woman. And she said, please, please, you, you have to reverse that magic. You have to reverse that magic. I don't want it to go. I don't want it to die. And the old woman said, well, once the magic has been cast, child, it can't be reversed. It's a powerful magic. Well, look, please at least take away the poison. I don't want it to suffer. And a smile appeared on the wise old woman's face and she said, there was no poison in that oil. That was just normal massage oil. But I did tell you, did I not, that once the oil was gone, your problem would be gone, huh? And she smiled. She smiled and she gave her 10 rupees and took another bottle of oil to massage her mother-in-law. <laughs>